Ladies and gentlemen, whether it's the Albuquerque landscape, the characters, or even the writing, I miss the Breaking Bad universe more than anything, and I wanted to talk about that in this video because it's more relevant than ever. On January 15th, we have the Emmys, to which Better Call Saul is nominated for quite a few, and we've never seen Better Call Saul win an Emmy, which is absolutely crazy. It's way past due, and this might be the year we see it. So that's been something that's fresh on my mind, especially Especially knowing that this series is effectively over, and not just Better Call Saul. I'm talking about the Breaking Bad franchise as a whole. It was definitively the best series out there, the best franchise between Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. And it's weird, I call them a series, even though they're two separate shows, which I should, I should call them a franchise, I get it, all of that stuff. But the reason I always associate it with a series instead of just a franchise is because those two stories, Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad, are so well intertwined together that it blurs the lines between them being two separate shows. They are both absolutely phenomenal. Sure, they stand on their own, but their quality is just as equal to the point that you could consider them one thing. I'm also including El Camino in that, even though that's a movie and that's a little separate, but the whole Breaking Bad universe, that entire franchise, is just leagues above anything else. And the fact that it hasn't won an Emmy, specifically Better Call Saul in this instance, it's criminal. What a sick joke! It's absolutely criminal. There is some of the best acting I've seen on any TV show ever in Better Call Saul. Same with Breaking Bad. There's some of the best writing, cinematography, and all around it is the best drama series of all time. It's, it's the best show of all time. Just point blank period, even in my opinion, over Breaking Bad. But that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video. Not a comparison of the two of them, but I wanted to talk about just these shows and kind of give a brief retrospective. It's been some time that these shows have been off the air, and that's unfortunate. And I gotta say, I know there's some people out there that may want a show in the Breaking Bad universe again. And as much as I would love to see more in the Breaking Bad universe, I do not think they should. I think the series has been wrapped up perfectly, and any addition to it is just added unnecessary stuff that is going to desaturate the franchise, and I do not want that to be the case. It's ended on a nearly perfect note, with the endings of all of the characters in a very satisfying way. I don't know what more can be done to satisfy the show. It's all been done, if that makes any sense. I don't even know what spin-offs or anything that this franchise could ever do. So I think it's perfectly situated where it's at, and there doesn't need to be anything else to make it any better. It's just that good, ladies and gentlemen. It really is. Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad, as I mentioned earlier, are the two best shows of all time. And there's, of course, a debate out there as to which is better than the other. And I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about these two shows on their own overall. Breaking Bad, as you know, is the story of Walter White. And it's a story of a man going from Mr. Kibbs to Scarface. And that idea on paper alone is one of the best ideas for a TV show ever. And it does execute on that. The story is action-packed. The story is compelling. The characters are believable. The visual landscapes are different compared to any other show out there, both about it being what it's about, as well as it taking place in the Albuquerque deserts and the Al Albuquerque landscape overall. It's just, it's just very unique. It's very Breaking Bad. It's one of those things that has its own identity that could really just represent itself. And when you think about it, you undeniably think it's that. I know that was a little high level, but essentially, there is nothing that has that Breaking Bad appeal. There's nothing that has that Breaking Bad, including Better Call Saul, feel. Those shows are undeniably Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould shows. It's like... You hear a Beatles song, and then you listen to a Rolling Stones song, or even Maroon 5. I don't know where that one came from, but you, you get what I'm saying? 
the Beatles are undeniably the Beatles and nothing will come close to the sound that those four individuals created. Any other show, whether it's even The Sopranos, Boardwalk Empire, I don't know, Mad Men, Walking Dead, doesn't matter. None of them have the Breaking Bad feel. None of them can replicate Breaking Bad because only Vince Gilligan and only Peter Gould can do that. And quite frankly, I mean, I guess any actor or actress could fulfill the roles that Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould created, but it's undeniable that Brian Cranston, Bob Odenkirk, as well as Rhea Seahorn, and even Patrick Fabian, all of those people, you know, Giancarlo Esposito, they all undeniably are Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. I can't imagine other actors in those roles, and yes, I'm sure anyone who plays a Vince Gilligan or Peter Gould role could immediately fit in the universe. I think Better Call Saul was a prime example of that with Patrick Fabian um, and a couple others as well, like Nacho and things like that. But all of that being said, the characters are undeniably Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. The landscape is undeniably that universe. The acting, the cinematography, the color grading, the, just everything is undeniably, unmistakably Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould. I hope I'm hammering that point home. There is nothing like it. Nothing at all. And if Better Call Saul, which only further developed those ideas that Breaking Bad initially established. It only built upon them and made them better, such as the cinematography, writing, acting, all of it. If it doesn't win an Emmy this time around, I'm going to personally march on down to the Emmy station, the Emmy office, and just go like this at them. I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go, you, yum, 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 because I just, I've had enough. I've had enough. These shows are perfect. They, they're the closest you can get in video form to perfection. I don't know what more either one of them could do to be better. Maybe the only thing I could think is some of the establishing seasons of both shows could have been a little bit faster paced and not so slow. Both of them are guilty of that. But their payoffs make it so much worth it that I wouldn't even consider those things negatives, if that makes any sense. I genuinely do believe that these shows are pretty much perfect. Breaking Bad, in my opinion, has a little bit more flaws than Better Call Saul does. Better Call Saul is... Fuck it, I'll say it, it's perfect. It's perfect. I can't think of one, one flaw. One at all. The only goofy thing to me was the recasting of Jeff the Cab Driver, but they had to do it, and it still worked from a story perspective. I don't care if they had to recast. You know what I mean? If that's the only negative I'm saying, that's not a negative. That's just me trying to look for something, because the actor couldn't be on set. So they had to work around it, and I was fine with it because the story worked. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't know how to word it. The overall point, as I think you could tell, is I miss it to death. There's nothing like it. There will never be anything like it. And sure, a show might come around at some point in the future and be better than Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. It's entirely possible and it most likely will happen. Definitely at some point in my lifetime, we're going to see something like that. But it doesn't matter. As of right now, as of December or sorry, January 2nd, 2024, it's the best of TV ever. Over Game of Thrones, over Walking Dead, over anything. There will never be anything like it. The shows are undeniably Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould. And I just miss them. I miss the Albuquerque desert. I miss the characters. I miss everything about it. The music in both of the shows. Just, God, everything. It's just so good. And this is like a... <laughs> This is like an anti-rant. This is like the opposite of a rant. I'm like ranting about how much I love this show. You know what I mean? This is just coming from the heart, guys. I didn't have a script for this video. I don't have anything more in my head. I'm just expressing my genuine, lo genuine love for a franchise that I adore. And while I wish we have more time in the Breaking Bad universe... It needed to be done. I'm glad it's over. It ended with a beautiful bow on top and nothing could add to it.
That's how, it, at least how I feel. Maybe I'm stuck in my old ways. Maybe you have an idea for a spinoff that would be good in the universe. But again, I don't even want to entertain the concept because I think the show is perfect as it is and anything else will taint that. I don't want that to happen. So I think it should be left as is. But if you have any cool ideas for a spinoff, of the Breaking Bad universe, I'd love to hear them down in the comments. I think that would be a great thing. I also think it would be great to just share your praises for the show in the comments. Maybe some memories you had of watching the show. My favorite memory of watching Better Call Saul specifically was when my dad and I, as well as one of my best friends, sat down in the middle of summer and watched Point and Shoot together. We were all on the edge of our seats, as everyone was, <laughs> waiting for that episode to come out. And we all watched it. We all made popcorn. We sat around in my living room and all freaked out at the events that unfolded because it was just so good. That was my personal favorite memory. It's definitely one of the most recent memories I have, of course, but I watched better. I watched Breaking Bad, I should say, for the first time when I was young, so I don't remember every little detail of how I watched it, you know what I mean? But I wish I could go back and rewatch it for the first time, and I wish I could do that about Better Call Saul as well, and even El Camino, guys. I liked El Camino. I'm in the camp who enjoyed it. Yes, if you never saw Breaking Bad, you can't really enjoy El Camino. Sure, it's an enjoyable movie, but you really need the context of Breaking Bad to get it. And I know there's some people that even with that context still didn't like it. To them, I say, I don't know what you watched. I thought it was great. Yes, it wasn't Breaking Bad. It wasn't Better Call Saul. It was a movie on its own, and it was just filling a gap of a pretty single-off story. And I think it did a very good job of that. Is it Better Call Saul? Is it Breaking Bad? No. But I think it has the quality of any Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould project. I loved it, and I'm glad we got to see Jesse's ended story. I'm glad we got to see Walt's ended story, and I'm glad we got to see Jimmy and Kim's finishing story. I, I couldn't be any happier. I think both shows ended perfectly. Like, I, I personally think Better Call Saul ended even better than Breaking Bad, and that was a hard feat to achieve because Breaking Bad ended perfectly. But just, again, again. There's no flaws in these shows. None. At all. Good luck trying to find one. Let me know in the comments if you have one. But seriously, I can't think of anything that is a negative about these shows. At all. If any of you out there are interested in writing and want to create your own stories, and you haven't seen Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad, which I doubt if you're at this point in the video, you should watch the show just to learn because this show just executed on everything perfectly and if i were to create a show it's the type of show i would want to make i couldn't be any more excited for the project that vince gilligan and Rhea seahorn are working on on apple tv plus i have no idea what that's going to be but i'm excited to see something new from vince gilligan that isn't breaking bad and i hate to say that because i love the universe but I think what it is, is these writers are just so unbearably talented that it doesn't matter what they make. It's, it's them. They are the key to this project, as well as the actors, of course, and the crew, all of that. But at the heart of it is Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould. And my God, did they make two masterpieces. I don't know how much more I could say. I just really miss it, and I hope to God we see some wins that are much, much, much deserved from Better Call Saul in a couple weeks' time at the Emmys. If we don't, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. And with all that out of the way, thank you again so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like rating and subscribe for more Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad content. With all that out of the way, thank you again so much for watching this video, and until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.